Oh yeah! Hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Music and today we're going to unbox the Boss WL60 wireless system. So I thought you guys would be interested in seeing that. And if you watched the last video, you know I'm sort of doing these videos back to back and the sun has come out and I'm all bright. So I'm trying a new camera system and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully this video comes out. We'll soon see. Anyway guys, get ready. Check it out! As I said, we're going to unbox this. This video will probably be done in a couple stages. Um, I want to unbox it, show you guys what's actually in the box. So we'll unbox it right now and you'll see everything that comes in the box. And then I might have a bit of a play with it, get familiar with it, and I might actually do a review at the end of this video. So I don't know whether to do the review later, so just check the time, how long this video is. It might be a bit longer if it is. I've actually reviewed the product. product. Um, but if not, we're going to at least unbox it. So, yeah. So it's the WL60. Check it out. Here we are with the Boss WL60 Wireless. This is my second unboxing. How cool is that? Anyway, so I want to start off this video by first saying a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Conceptual Creative. Without them, this sort of stuff wouldn't be possible. They've looked after me and supported me so much. So if you want to see what sort of stuff they do, check out marchemusic.com.au and um, you can see what they do for me. But besides website design and hosting, they have a whole bunch of other services. So make sure you send them some love um, because without their support and their help, this sort of stuff wouldn't be possible. So anyway, let's get back into it. This is my second unboxing. So yeah, if you want to know about the WL system, WL60 system here in Australia, um, recommended retail price is $4.79 but the guys from Muso Cor Muso's Corner in Newcastle they're online check them out too they gave me a great deal for $3.95 that's what they're selling these beauties for now the reason why I decided to go with the WL60 WL60 is because I looked at the WL20 and the WL50 and I just don't like the input jacks, those little things. Um, I know that there's been some talk about how they, uh, you know, some guitars they don't even plug in properly. I did look, I was more interested in the WL50 because of the pedal that you put into a pedal board, but I still didn't like the input jack for the guitar. Um, call me old fashioned and all that sort of stuff. But I also like to jump around on stage and just having this little plug jammed into your guitar and if you're jumping around flicking your guitar around and all that it just kind of bugs me that I'd either damage the unit by accidentally hitting it on something or um, you know just popping out and that, that's the worst thing for me so I wanted something that plugs into the guitar and has actually got a transmitter pack that I could either put in my back pocket on my belt or attached to the strap so yeah I've done a bit of research on this there's not a lot online that's why I thought I'd do an unboxing video for it and like I said in the intro depending on how you know I'll see how long this goes but I might actually do this in two parts and do a review otherwise I'll do the review separately I'm not sure yet I'm just seeing how this goes because like I'm still using my new camera and all that sort of stuff and yeah so anyway, let's have a look at what's inside the WL60. So let's empty the box. There's nothing in the box. Okay, so register your product and get expert customer care from us. Is that? Okay, we got little feet. Okay, so you can put feet on it. I guess they gave you the feet separate. So a lot of people that use Velcro. Um, Chinese card. Another card in Chinese. This looks kind of like the manual. Uh -huh. that, that's in English and other languages. So there's one of the manuals. Read me first, okay. You got another one of those. We got cardboard. Woo, throw that away. Okay, so I'd say that's the transmitter by the looks of it. That's the transmitter. 
And this one is the part that goes in the pedal board. We'll have a close look at that in a minute. And this would be your lead, I'd assume. Oh, and they get, oh, whoa. They actually give you batteries. That's cool. I did buy some batteries, so, um, but yeah. So they give you two lots of batteries. I'd say one for that one and one for that one. So, well done, boss. Sweet, that's cool. But then again, the pedals come with batteries too, so not a surprising, but it's great to know that they did it. Now, people have been talking about this cord. What's the cord like? They said it's good quality, it's a boss cord. And if you looked at, uh, at my last video about the unboxing of the BCB30, you'll know I talked a little bit about the cords. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's yeah, it actually feels really good. It feels sturdy. It comes with two different ends. So of course, you know, depending on the type of guitar you want, um, the type of guitar you have, I should say. Uh, yeah, so you can plug it e either way that you want to. Let's do, let's have a look at the transmitter since we started off with the cord. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, the cord does feel really nice and sturdy, which is really good. That's one thing that a few people have said about it. Uh, the transmitter. Very light, which is good, you know, light. Throw it with the battery, it's still really, really light. Does feel a bit plasticky though, so I'd probably be careful with it. Although the one part I am a bit concerned about is the the wire bracket on the, end, the back. Um, I, like I said, I'm still this brand new camera. I'm trying to get used to it, and just making sure that you got focus there. So that is feels really, really thin, really thin. So okay, let's see what it's like either way. Okay, so you got straight if you wanted to use that socket for a certain guitar. Feels alright. That of course will um, affect your switch if it's that way. Uh, but yeah, depending if you prefer that sort of socket going into your guitar, you can, it seems to be alright there. So yeah, no, that's all right. Uh, it does feel a little bit like I've got to be really careful with it. Okay, so double A batteries, that's the good thing about it. They didn't get too fancy. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, some, some of the companies are going with weird batteries and all that sort of stuff, which is a pain. Run off. Yeah, so that, that, that's really good, that, that feels, all right, like I said, it does feel a little bit, you know, it is plastic, but it does feel a little bit like you gotta be careful with it. But um, it comes down to weight. So yeah, if you wanted something heavy and metal and all that sort of stuff that you didn't have to, that you could bash, then you'd be having to lug it around and just adds weight to it. But So that's the trade off I'd say. But yeah, no, that's pretty good. Now let's have a look at this pedal. Da, 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 da. Whoa. Yeah, same thing, very light and plasticky. There's the pedal. Like, I, I'm still getting used to this setup, so. See, there you got your power in, and you can power the pedals with it, so daisy chain it out. Because um, uh, if you saw the last video where I talked about the BCB30, that comes with a three daisy chain to power each pedal individually, but you could pop it in the input and then daisy chain it out. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty cool. Double A batteries in the back. There's the cover. So yeah, no, it, it seems all right. Um, it, it is very light and very plasticky. It's like, yeah. Okay, same size as the pedal. Hang on a second. Just unplug it. Come on, boss. The boss are known for the metal, you know? It's like... Metal, metal, solid pedals. You can kick these things till the cows come home. 
but this is plastic. It's very light, which is, you know, it's okay, but it's like having a Behringer pedal. It's like, um, Behringer pedals are cool, but they're, they're very light and all that. Um, yeah, so of course you're not stomping on this. This is just a receiver. Um, but yeah, it would, just to know that it was the same toughness as the metal casing, that would have been better. But yeah, you know, just make sure if you've got this in your pedal board, watch out you don't miss the pedals. Um, yeah, try and put this somewhere where you're not going to accidentally step on it because, yeah. I don't know if it's a thin, it feels like plastic. But I don't know, it might even be a thin metal. I'm, I could be wrong. But to me, it feels like plastic. You know, it feels, it feels like that. So, but the side, it kind of feels like a thin metal, but yeah, so if you're gonna put this on your um, pedal board, make sure that, uh, definitely make sure that it's somewhere that you're not gonna accidentally stomp on, because I do like my Boss pedals. I've got a couple others, but I try and use Boss if I can. I just love the Boss, the quality is unreal. And that's why I thought I'd go with this. So, I know this video is already starting to get a bit long, so I might leave the review. Um, I might do a review video separately. So I'll set this up into the BCB30, have some fun with it, play with it, see what the range is and all that, and then I will do a future video real soon about what I think of this pedal. But unboxing it, yeah, it's pretty cool. So be interesting to see if it lives up to its height. And I'll do that. So um, yeah, since I'm gonna do another video, I've just decided now, yeah, if you like this, hit like, subscribe, hit notification bell so you don't miss the future video of the review of this one and also the setup of what I'm doing with the pedal boards. And um, before I do the review, while I'm sitting here recording, I'm going to be unboxing this one for the next video. Um, so it's going to be the same setup. And then I can set it all up and, you know, actually be able to play with it and all that so yeah so in a couple videos time you'll see the review of this one after I've had a little bit of a play with it so stay tuned until next time guys I'm Mark Shea hope you've enjoyed this, this is my second unboxing ever <laughs> I just thought I'd, I'd do it because not many there's not many not much info on this I tried to research this there's not a lot of info on the WL60 so I thought well you know, I've got it brand new, let's unwrap it together and then I'll have a play with it, I'll test it out and I'll put it to the test and see what we go and then I'll tell you about it. But yeah, like I said, this video is getting a bit long so I'm going to cut it here and I will be doing a review very, very shortly. So if you've enjoyed that, you know what to do. I'm Mark Shea. I'm Mark Shea. <laughs> this is Exploring Music, I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, see ya!